this first one here is an absolute uh, stunner. Uh, we're going to talk about Joe Mercola. Uh, Mercola. Um, however you want to say his name. I have no idea how to accurately say it, so I'll just <laughs> call him. The turkey, the turkey is on my side here, so that's a positive thing. Refuting Crazy Joe Merkla's glyphosate autism scare story. Alternative health guru Joe Merkla claims there has been a massive increase in autism cases since the 1960s and that the weed killer glyphosate is a key culprit. He's wrong on both points. If you're a regular ACSH, ACSH reader, you've met Crazy Joe Merkla, as my colleague, Dr. Josh Bloom, fondly refers to him. Once a reputable physician, Merkla is now perhaps the most prominent alternative medicine advocate and supplement salesman globally. Over the years, one of his pet peeves has been the alleged link between autism and a variety of chemical exposures, most notably vaccines and pesticides, and this has not changed as 2021 comes to a close. Here is Merkel's latest effort, published by the Epic Times. The disease has soared, this disease has soared 28x since the 1960s, but why? There's no single answer to this problem. Since many different toxins can contribute, preventing autism must include the elimination of most toxic exposures. Top suspects include childhood vaccines, the 10 chemicals listed earlier, glyphosate in particular, autoimmune antibodies, gut inflammation, retroviruses, and EMF exposure. A lot has been said in response to Merkel on these issues, so instead of writing a 3,000-word point by point uh, repudiation, I want to focus on the good doctor's willingness to ignore or misuse evidence using one of his favorite boogeymen, glyphosate, as an illustration. And it goes on to give more detail through different meta-analyses and scientific studies that have been performed here. And again, what this all plays into, and this is one of my first exposures to the major argument of uh, causation versus correlation, right? And if you've never seen the causation versus correlation memes, like for instance, the number of times, uh, uh, I, what's his name? Who's the super short guy that's in Scientology? Tom Cruise. It's like the number of movies <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tom Cruise is in as correlates to the cases in autism, and they both accelerate on the same uh, growth curve. It, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, and you can type into the Google sphere uh, correlation versus causation. Um, uh, funny. And then, and then go to images. And you can read all kinds of different things like U.S. spending on science, space, and technology and suicides by hanging, strangulation, and suffocation. And how all these curves here just have absolutely undeniable links, right? Because causation equals correlation? Absolutely not. So, um, gentlemen, talk to us here. Talk to me about crazy Joe Merkla and, uh, and the glyphosate autism link. Ray, do you want to go first or me? You, you go ahead. You go ahead. I mean, you might as well team me up so that I can uh, thoroughly uh, put this clown on a pike. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I'll go ahead and say it. I usually don't have too strong a takes. I am, and I try to be the most diplomatic person here as much as I can be, but <laughs> this motherfucker is a special piece of shit. He really is. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you a couple of reasons why. First, Number one, I mean, he, it, guys, he's no different than the people that we like to rip on in our industry, right? This guy mm -hmm. is a class A grifter, okay? Selling supplements, immune boosters, all this other bullshit that doesn't make any bit of difference, right? But he mm -hmm. gets you to feel good about putting it down, right? Instead of throwing her down on the lawn, throw her down the gullet, Ray. Take that immune Throw it on the it hatch. Belly. Yeah. Throw her yeah. down the Throw hatch. Throw it on the hatch and uh, there. <laughs> so the the other piece here, besides the fact that, you know, uh, he is bilking people out of money, uh, is that there is some sort of correlation between autism and uh, glyphosate in particular. That's a very strong statement to make with absolutely zero evidence to back it up. And this, to me, uh, one is a personal issue because I, you know, I'm a parent of a child that has autism that, is, you know, mm -hmm. faces that disorder every day and understand what that means. And, you know, the thing that gets me a lot of times when it comes to, you know, uh, either vaccine injury or uh, environmental injury related to this, these are people mm -hmm. that are using scare tactics to not, that don't understand the science of how uh, this 
this disorder manifests itself. And so uh, I just find it funny that, you know, we, we've got to come up with something that, in this case, okay, hey, glyphosate, right? Buzzword, everybody's freaked out about it. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to, you know, slide these two. It's like, remember those, uh, those uh, uh, worksheets in, in school, Ray, where you had to match the one word and you had to draw the line down the other side and match the word on the other side? I think that's yeah. what Crazy Joe did here. I think he was just like, hmm, glyphosate. Mm, let's go to autism and we'll just do that and make the link. Yeah, let, let's, and so let's link it to the autism. only thing. Exactly. So whether it's, you know, uh, glyphosate, you know, glyphosate equals people eating. I'll start there, you know, uh, say what you want about it, but glyphosate equals people eating for right now until somebody comes up with something better. And uh, the old one that we like to use um, with the vaccines, you know, that they pay, people would say that you're vaccine injured or whatever. And that's the reason that, um, you know, you, you've got autism is vaccines cause adults. So, Joe, eat shit, go fuck yourself. Yeah. And uh, links, uh, links to my uh, list of products on Amazon because uh, talk about somebody not being in his lane talk about somebody misusing the science because and by the way you know who i'm actually extremely skeptical of overall i'm extremely skeptical of most physicians and especially the physicians that proclaim themselves as alternate medicine practitioners because most physicians I know of, mm -hmm. especially if they lean towards that alternate medicine side, yep. they are the first ones to blame anything and everything that goes wrong with somebody on glyphosate. And they do so without having the scientific basis to back up their claim. On the other hand, what if I told you that some of my customers are actual physicians? And those physicians, on the other hand, they tend not to go into that uh, alternate medicine world. Yeah, huge fan, yeah. huge fan of Bob Marley, but ask him how that whole alternative medicine thing turned out for him. Yeah. Yeah, ask uh, yeah, ask him about that and while we're Jeez, at it he's dead. You know, and kindly ask Steve Jobs how well oh, that alternate spicy. that alter that alternate medicine cure work. Do ask Steve Jobs because he didn't do that before or after the liver transplant. But didn't he get the liver transplant and then he went alternative? And then he died no, a couple years actually, later. Actually actually none of the above. He got none of the above and Upon autopsy, it was discovered that he actually had the form of pancreatic cancer where had he gotten it surgically removed upon discovery, he would actually stand an extremely good chance of a cure. Just cut out that offending tumor and Steve Jobs would be able to be an asshole to everybody for at least the next 10 years. He would have lived. <laughs> if, so if, if anybody has never been down this road before, um, this is not the first time this has showed up in the news. And a lot of what Merkla hinges his uh, uh, validation on is from a PhD computer scientist out of MIT named Stephanie Seneff. And Stephanie mm -hmm. Seneff is an absolute fucking head case i mean a nutbag that fell is likely autistic and fell mm -hmm. somewhere into the deep end at some point relatively recently within the last 10 years or so an absolute brilliant computer scientist that worked in ai and all kinds of different stuff mm -hmm. um who just fell apart uh and you know a couple of things that that she did is that she started performing meta-analyses on uh, the various research that was out. And she is the one, this computer scientist was the one who put it together. Uh, this correlation equals causation of uh, glyphosate related to um, uh, 
uh, autism here. And, you know, some of her justifications for her arguments includes disrupting your gut microbiome, uh, impairs uh, peristalsis, uh, a feature that is ex exceedingly common in children with autism, inhibits bile acid release by impairing gallbladder contraction, which many autistic children have very pale stools, suggestive of low bile acid levels, impairs digestive enzymes. Many autistic children ha also have undigested particles in their stool, which suggests a lack of digestive enzymes. And indeed, glyphosate affects your digestive enzymes, particularly uh, trypsin, pepsin, and lipase. Anyway, that was how she put all of this together. But a couple of things here that they state in this article, and I highly recommend you go read this so that way you could be prepared with these things. Um, she, can claimed, uh, she claimed also that uh, uh, glyphosate um, causes all sorts of serious diseases and ills, uh, obesity, diabetes, anorexia, school shootings, terrorist attacks. Um, however, uh, back on planet Earth, what? according to this article here, uh, <laughs> the National Academies of Sciences has found similar autism rates in different countries, regardless of how much glyphosate they use. Uh, therefore, Sinef's analysis is highly speculative, to say the least. And if you want to add a fun read to your New Year's Eve festivities, Dr. Bloom took Sinef to task last year on April for blaming. Who did Sinef blame COVID-19 on? That's right. Glyphosate. Um, so <laughs> there's absolutely nothing I anyone should take seriously from uh, uh, Dr. Sneff or Dr. Merkla in this regard. I thought she was going to say Barry Manilow. That's, that's, that was None. my guess, but <laughs> yeah. fuck. Because he was number two, is, probably on the list. Yeah, is the truth is, is that here is a person that he makes a lot of money uh, prescribing bullshit cures for problems that do exist and he also is an example of a person that also creates solutions in search of a problem you see matt you know how health conscious i am right yes very much so however do you see me going into the the fringe of, uh, you know, and following all of this alternative medicine crap. Because, by the way, I actually gave a lot of the alternative medicine stuff a fair trial. I honestly did. And you know what my conclusion was? Uh, it, it, didn't, it didn't work. It didn't work, Matt. It, it, it totally... Did not do a damn thing. And so when I see these people on the internet or in the magazines or in the newspapers telling people to buy my shit, for me, that is anxiety inducing because alternative medicine is nothing new. It's nothing new because. Alternative medicine has been around since the 1960s, 1950s, uh, 1970s. So the only difference is, is that here, here and now, uh, people have the pleasure of being bombarded by this crap on their smartphones 24 hours a day. I don't know. I think we should all uh, reach out to Jim Baker, buy buckets of food, uh, move to his compound, wherever it is in Arkansas, and, uh, and save ourselves and our families, right? Thank you for watching this clip. Be sure to tune in to the Burn and Return podcast on any of your favorite podcast apps every Wednesday, where we discuss the industry's hottest news.